Hey guys, it's Melly Your Melons here with my first voiceover on one of my speed builds. So this is called Russian Blue Farmhouse, I think is what I called it. So here I am just outlining the house, the basic shape of it. This was a this was a very this took me a while, this took me about an hour and a half to entire entirely. And you'll see that a large majority of it was actually trying to figure out the roof. I wanted to do a wraparound porch, but I couldn't figure out how to get the roof to look right. So here I am with the roof now, and you'll see I spent a good amount of time adjusting and deleting and readjusting and re-deleting and trying to figure out what exactly I wanted to do. Here's the porch here. More roofing. Lots of roofs. Oh man. You, there's actually a point where I stop entirely and it was literally I got so frustrated I had to leave <laughs> I had to go and take a little walk I was so angry at myself because I couldn't figure it out and of course I couldn't look it up yeah here's the pause <laughs> I got up and left I was not having this uh, okay looks like I'm back so I'm trying some different things I deleted entirely Trying to, trying to figure, I still, I never figured it out. I'm not entirely happy with how it came out. The entire idea of this house was a sort of nautical beachfront farmhouse that was, oh man, yeah, that is bad. Anyway, I couldn't, I couldn't even get the nautical feel entirely because there's not much decorations to go with and just the furniture matching it up together was infuriating. I could do it very easily in The Sims 3, because I had the creative style, but of course there's nothing like that in The Sims 4 yet. So I'm still still messing around with the roofs, I see. This is probably half an hour into the actual recording. Of course I've had to cut it down, but if I had left it out. Um, let me see, I think this is what I ended up with. Nope changing it some more. I think this is how I left it. Yeah. So I'm putting in some posts, trying to count them out and make them look even, even though it seems like there's too many. Adding some fencing. Same thing on the back porch. More posts. Finally, we end up into the actual designing portion. So I'm adding some trim. I'm adding some doors. The windows were another thing that infuriated me. Um, I wanted a little window on that top part of the roof, but it wouldn't fit and I wasn't about to enable cheats because I was just so done from the roof. I'm fixing the wood here, making it flow a little bit better, even though you can't see it. Oh, there, we, there I am with the window that wouldn't fit. Adjusting it. Adjusting it some more. Nope. Now I'm looking through the pet's window, or sorry, the cats and dogs' windows, because I wanted to use them, but I just don't like the shape of them. They looked a little odd, and they wouldn't fit in places where I wanted them to, so I ended up using some long windows on that side of the house, and I changed them later. Windows for the living room, big natural, lots of natural lighting going in, big window in the bathroom. And I'd start changing my mind <laughs> and re-putting it all in. Okay, doors. Doors everywhere. The other thing was, um, which is coming up, the wood. So I'm doing the wallpapering here. I'm trying to find some inspiration, trying to figure out what combination goes best, which gives me the, the nautical feel that I was going for, and none of them really make me happy. I was quite displeased with the entire build, actually. I was considering a couple of times turning it off and retrying again, but I was already wasted 40 minutes of my life, so I figured I'm gonna persevere, I'm gonna post this. Someone will get a kick out of it. Uh, those are the two bedrooms done, and I added that gray flooring, and I'm going right back in with the wallpaper. Because I found one that had stripes, and I thought it added a little bit more character. In the bathroom, adding some uh, tile, I think. 
And now I'm working on the first bedroom, which turns into the kids' bedroom, but right now I'm designing it as a guest bedroom. Until I realized this was the small one. <laughs> so I get a little annoyed and delete it all after spending a good amount of time adjusting it. And you can see here, I'm trying to place the light. So I see this light here, and I'm like, that looks like fishing net. And that was from the dine out. I used that a couple of times because, I mean, it looks exactly like a light that's hanging in a fishing net. More lighting in the bathroom, adding a shower, and then I added this tub, which is ridiculous, and decided that shower doesn't fit at all. So, change that around, again using the things from the cats and dogs, moving some things around, making it look okay. I'm not, I'm still quite displeased with how it came out. Searching for rugs, and it's around this point. And I realized that this was supposed to be the child's bedroom. Yeah. So I switched it all around, designed it for a kid, and I decided to go with a Dalmatian theme. So they've got this bed with the little fire hydrants and the matching armoire. And um, added a mirror, a little soccer light, looking for, looking for the specific rug, which was right in front of me, there it is, and I added a Dalmatian toy, and I think I sized it down a little bit, and a little Dalmatian statue, as well as kid things, like a book and a pencil case, extending this bedroom, and again, I'm trying for the nautical feeling, and I'm like, this looks, this almost is what I'm going for, so I was quite happy, uh, give it a little lan some little lanterns, and of course, the dressers don't match, so I have to change it. Finally get it how I want it. Add in a dresser, a mirror, and a rug. Change that up. Add in a little plant. And now onto the master bedroom. So I have this big fancy patch patchwork quilt bed, as well as um, t some lovely Tiffany lights, which I didn't see until now. So I added those in, I added another dresser, a mirror, all the normal stuff. I meant to add in plants, but I I, I was entirely too, too done with this entire build by the time it was time to. You know, I spent so much time searching for rugs, searching for decorations, searching for lights, searching for windows, and this was, I'm like, I'll make this a painting room, and then I realized we need an office. So I turned it into an office space, which is entirely empty. All I put in was a computer and a desk, and I'm like, I can put a chair in there. And now that I think about it, I should have gone back and put it in. Because I didn't put it in the living room, because I totally forgot. So if you download this house, add a bookshelf, because I didn't, you know, onto the master bathroom. I added in a shower tub combo, toilet, sink, mirror, rug, all that stuff, and onto the kitchen. And for some reason, I decided not to put in lights when I was doing this, so I was working in the dark, and then I realized, um, you know, that's the wrong color cabinets. It's the wrong color dress or counters, too. So I, after a while of messing around with the island, figuring out how I wanted that, I do change the color to a more appropriate gray or blue, I think. I can't quite remember. Adding in some lights because I finally figured, oh, I can put lights in. And I forgot to put in the range hood. So again, if you download this house, please go, go and do that. Into the little dining area. I'm trying so hard to keep up this nautical theme and it's just not happening. That fish, fish, uh, did I use that again? I don't, I don't know. No, I used something a little bit calmer because it was very bright. And, um... For the TV, I put that trunk and a side table, or sorry, um, coffee table, a couch that came with it with some throw pillows, a nice rug, a nice credenza, and uh, I tried to fit a lamp in there, it wasn't happening. Another light, little plot of flowers, and a cat scratching post, because this is cats and dogs. Also, a little food bowl. A light for that little hall inlet, a toy box, and... I actually changed things around and I put a big cat tree there and a litter box over by the TV. Adding some outdoor lights, a barbecue, and I wanted a, I wanted a seating area and I knew exactly what I wanted and it was this. It was this little outdoor bench, which I really think looks very nice in a farmhouse so that 
Your sims can sit outside and look out on the ocean, which this house backs onto. Uh, I found this wheel, which was, you know, as closest to nautical as I was going to get. I added in a couple of paintings, variants. I was very, I was getting lazy at this point, and I didn't want to rank, rank up the price of the house too much. So here it is, the final build. I will have some screenshots at the end, and of course I'm just putting in some, some landscaping and a path, and yeah, that's about it. So I'll play the screenshots, and I hope you